all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again topic will be reverse 1999 the brand new gacha game that will be released 26th of october so in five days from now when i'm recording we made already a tier list and we did review a tier list on this pridewen.gg website i definitely encourage you to check it out the credits will be in the description below uh we done introduction to the game we learned so much we we saw the first look gameplay and the summon so you have it all on my channel just click on my channel type reverse 1999 and you will get all the videos out and on today's video we will do beginner guide okay and then the next video will be team building guide and all of these guides are pre-launch guides okay just so we all prepare together and be ready to go when the actual game is released in five days uh okay so first of all a special thanks to liriel who worked tirelessly on this guide let me let me zoom in a little bit introduction the guide is aimed at giving tips for those who just started playing the game we have also introduction to the game and reroll guide check out my videos on my channel or you can just check it out here on the website whatever you please uh whatever you want common terms uh so ap action points each round uh there is a limited amount of action points for using or moving cards <clears throat> the amount of action points is tied to the amount of characters you have on the field which means that on most occasions you will have three ap per round having two characters on the field means only two per ap per round pretty much this is uh, how much characters you're gonna have let me say three you will have like three turns and if you combine a card, you lose with that one turn. When you use the card, it places on the field. Check out my first look gameplay and everything will be clear. There are special, ca uh, there are special cases such as boss battles and dual stages, but general rule is the amount of AP equal the amount of characters. Good. AP generous uh, refers to characters who don't need to spend many action points to fulfill their role. Okay. AP Greed is the opposite one. Stunning skills, Verten skills. They can be found in the bottom left corner of the screen during combat. There are two sets. First, Melody and Grand Orchestra. Okay, we can cl clearly see it here. Mook Moxie, the little dots below HP bar of each character. It's possible to gain Moxie by using cards, merging them or moving them. Uh, yeah, also by moving. Uh, some characters also have their own mechanics to gain Moxie. Uh, one e zero e one two three refers to a character inside level also known as inheritance similar to the ascension or promotion in other games low rarity characters go only up to inside two while five star six star can go inside three Athletes, the name of the elements reality damage and mental damage physical magical strat team composition you already know that substitution blah 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 i mean substitute you can uh, select select up four characters but while three of them will be on the field the fourth one will be one wait at the suitcase with the substitute substitute got attack okay that's nice uh sacrifice strategy a kind of strategy where players uh, purposely sacrifice a character uh, this is the equivalent to the gear and resonance another way to upgrade a character okay so now when we in short know these things let we see first step enjoy the story a list of which stages unlock tutorial ends at 1 1 you unlock the speed times 2 blah 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 all of these things you can check out um, on the website so, or pause it and read it for yourself but let me now go to the like more uh, more important part basic basic showcase Okay, here you can also check out the video about the battle combat showcase. Answer for the puzzles. We have hidden the answers to the puzzle in the section below to avoid spoiling those who want to give them... Uh, a f they want to try it out. Okay, so there is also hidden puzzles and the answers. You will, I will give you all that answers when the game will be live. A beginning of the tale refers to a beginner mission. Following this mission, you will learn the basic of the game okay you you earn the resources back by leveling and promoting four free characters to e1 insight one 
Completing Act 3 gives you foot, uh, foot loose, uh, 5 star gear that is useful in general to any damage dealer. Okay. Completing active Act 5, Laughter and Lie, Laughter, a 5 star gear that is useful for, to any healer. So all of this information are really, really important, guys. Okay, complete, completing our X6, you get a skin. Okay, Wilderness. Once you lock Wilderness, Chapter 2, two try to place as many islands and buildings as you, as, as you can as soon as possible. You can always change the design later on for no charge, and it will be a good source of passive income and character bond. So Wilderness, like we already mentioned on previous video when I was creating it, I don't know when I will upload these videos, honestly, but yeah, it's really important part. Other general tips. At the fifth day of login bonus, you will get a consumable item called Carrier War Carrier that allows you to get a six-star side cube for your choice or gear. It's advised to pick one that will suit your man, man, main managed dealer. The most early on healers won't be really needed that you want to have to worry much about team sin energy pretty much any character will be good enough to simply steamroll the stages however the more the game will progress the more important healers and survival mechanics become like usual pretty much the game is seen generous in materials early on but it also also takes a while to raise a character for this reason try not to spread yourself thin and plan your priorities ahead okay so immediately we have some beautiful uh tip here and the things you should not make mistakes here uh for example know your characters know which one to prioritize and work of them because it is not super easy to level up and raise the character also note when you get certain gears and for which character this gear you should equip with okay but fine initial characters so we have apple should you invest maybe that's for discussion we have soneto not available in gacha leilali eagle you have the tier list and everything else so we won't go now in super detail about this uh eagle after stage check out okay yes eagle is a very cheap due to a low rarity character but her kit is extremely solid and offers her the tools to be one of the strongest plant damage dealers in the game despite of that once she enters combat, her passive inflicts sense weakness on the enemy with the highest attack, lowering reality defense and crit defense by 20%. So Eagle, yes. Her Leilai, maybe, maybe, yes. So Sonata is also the one. She's not available in store, but you're gonna get it uh, in Gacha. She's not available in Gacha, but you're gonna get it, I guess, in the story. Most versatile character in the game. Okay. Dick. Yes. Very worthy of investment. A day of login bonus. We're getting Dick. Eh? Matilda. Pre registration reward. Probably not uh, overall worth of investment. And then we have starter six star characters that we did already analyze. And then we have team building. Okay, uh, now we can analyze this a little bit. Regulus and Eternity and Lila are pretty much the, those featured characters in those six star banners. Where after 30 summons, you're gonna get one of those. I would definitely go for Eternity. She looks like the best. Um, E1 inside one is enough for her functional, but like she doesn't need so much investment for the get go. Uh, only at E3, she gains great upgrades. It's her passive and Eternity truly shines okay team building how many units to raise at first between four to six units raise them early on depends on the amount of high rarities you're trying to build as the six star in particular are considerably more expensive i advise i advise you to pick up a six star to build up at first then the other should be from varying elements and roles when you have a once you have a solid team in, in this fashion you can slowly branch out to have monotype teams synergy is vital so when doubt of who to raise or invest in check out synergy who you already have so pretty much here already depending on the reroll depending how we're gonna start we're gonna have like uh differences 
and uh, we're gonna have like different scene energies and we're gonna see where we're gonna um, work on first and on what thing on position can be very flexible and variated since most character can do more than one thing but there is a generic guideline you can follow uh, damage dealer character focus on damage dealing as much as damage as possible they may be a gr they may be great at that job but some of them don't offer any utility at all support characters focus is on their ability to enable their teammates especially damage dealer they often can act as a suit sub dps damage cp omg deep damage too but the main reason to bring them is for their buffs debuffs and control survival arcanist focused on keeping the teammate alive they're the healers shielders and tanks okay there are some special cases how to compose a team first choose your main damage dealer then some kind of like a support like put the mix of all of this then see what kind of support they need to bring for the most yeah bring the most potential when in doubt you can find that by checking out the full character reviews for suggestions of energy energy last but not least the team will need either second support or a survival character damage dealer tend to die easily so you're gonna need those to work account progression routine spending tips okay uh yeah why not we can go through this a little bit so but this is pretty much the beginner guide and pretty much the first tips that you should know about um roughly what what are we going into uh how the teams are composed what should be focused on and if you connect with all other guides i created you have like a perfect picture here routines daily a couple of minutes interact with the character gather resources since the game has a replay mode that can give four times reward at once this is done quickly do physic cube stages unlock your artificial somnambulism early chapter three tried it's a huge boost general resources through the oneric shop and clear drop for gotcha try to finish all stages surface even if you don't get the perfect star you can unlock limbo surface give you a passive income every week and limbo can give you 600 percent uh, 600 clear drops gotcha income and shop currency every two weeks that's nice so make sure to do it like early chapter three yeah make sure to do it as fast as possible try to plan ahead since resources are scarce but don't stress about much about it since side events give plan to resources and meds extra tips since you only bring up the four characters you likely won't need a big amount of damn low rarities gears are only fodder to level up high rarity gears as long as you keep Doing uh, Pneuma analysis stages daily, you should be able to save currency for gear in no time. Uh, once you have your team covered, use their currency to buy copies of gear. Okay. Dupes can be used to increase the level of... Nice. Of gear passive, making it a lot more effective and powerful. Spending tips. If you plan to spend money... Okay, I won't go into that now. Um that's it you can watch that last part on you can check out the credits and watch this website hopefully you did enjoy this video hopefully it was helpful so we already done introduction reroll guide we learned a lot about the game we done the tier list and now the only thing what we need to do is go in more depth about team building and that's pretty much it we're ready to go that's that love you guys and see you next one bye live a life